Hi guys, welcome to this installment of Min Tips, and today we're going to show you how to identify and remove bot traffic using Google Analytics. Now this is really important because you don't want to have misleading information on your Google Analytics where you've got lots of traffic coming from bots. And the way to first find out if your traffic is coming from bots is you want to go onto behavior, site content, landing pages. And what I like to do is I like to filter the dates to show only a couple of days worth of data just so it makes it a lot easier to spot this bot traffic. But you can do this for like ranging for a week or even a month. Once I've got the landing pages here, the key thing I'm looking out for is metrics that just don't really make any sense. So like 100% new sessions with 100% bounce rates with one page per session and zero seconds average session duration. Now that wouldn't make sense. That's something that's physically impossible. <laughs> you know, that, that kind of stuff is definitely bot traffic. And so once we've identified this, we want to figure out what the network domain is. So what we do is we click on the secondary dimension, we'd put in network domain, we'd click here, and then we're going to expand the rows a little bit. And then we're going to go down and again, we're going to look for these ridiculous metrics like the 100% bounce rate, 100% new sessions, one page per session, and zero seconds average session duration. So now looking here, I found an example of this domain here called colocrossing.com that has three session, uh, three, that has 100% new sessions of three sessions going to one of the pages here. And obviously this is bot traffic. It makes no sense that it would have zero second duration and one page per session. So what we want to do is we want to highlight this and we want to copy this network domain. The next thing we want to do is we want to be removing it. So we're going to filter it out from the Google Analytics. So we go on admin on the right side, we click on filters, and then we're going to create a new filter. Now, when I create a new filter, I'd want to call it spam. And then I would just paste the network domain here. So I know that that's the network domain that the filter is referring to. Next, we're going to select the filter type to exclude. We're going to select traffic from the ISP domain and the expression is that are equal to. So once we're here, we just paste in the ISP domain again, and then we want to click on verify this filter because this is going to show us how the data is going to be affected if we've done this correctly. So we can see that before the filter is applied, it's saying that there were nine different sessions from this network domain. And after the filter is applied, there is nothing there. So that's how we know that this filter will be applied correctly. All we have to do is hit save. And then once that filter is added, there will be no more of that network domain showing up in the analytics results. So this just helps us get a truer perspective or a truer picture about the actual traffic we're getting on Google Analytics. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, leave a like rating and comment below and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one.